Uh, hello friends, uh, welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss acid, bases and salts. Um, important topic from competitive examination point of view. Might have studied in your junior classes so we just have a quick recap of all the terminologies, definitions related to acid, bases and salts. Uh, we use a large number of substances in our daily life, right, as lemon, tamarind, common salt, sugar, vinegar, right. All these substances can be classified into groups based on their physical properties, right. Uh, friends, substances can be grouped simply on the basis of their taste also, right. Uh, they may be sweet, salty, sour or bitter, right. Uh, for example, if we squeeze a lemon and uh, just taste it without adding any sort of water or sugar, it will be extremely sour. Similarly, uh, you can taste curds also, orange juice also, vinegar, all of them taste sour, right, because they contain acids. And the chemical nature of uh, this uh, substances is acidic. Uh, see friends, curd, lemon juice, orange juice, vinegar, they are naturally sour, right? So we can say the acids in this uh, substances are natural acids, right? And substance, uh, substances are bitter in taste, right? I have an example over here that is the baking soda. So if we rub the baking soda solution between fingers, it, uh, it will feel uh, uh, soapy, soapy like, right? So and uh, substances like the uh, these which are bitter in taste and feel soapy on touching the uh, these are known as bases, right? Acids, sour taste, bases, bitter taste. Okay, and uh, such substances are said to be basic, acidic and basic. And the substances which are neither acidic nor basic are called as neutral substances, right? Uh, we can take example of water, it is neither acidic nor basic. Now let's uh, discuss acids in detail. Uh, so we have two types of acids. One uh, type is mineral or laboratory acids we can say another is organic acids, right? And uh, mineral acids or laboratory acids are really strong ones and the organic acids are weak ones, right? Uh, I can take example of uh, mineral acids or laboratory acids are nitric acid, sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acids, all these are mineral acids or laboratory acids we can say. You might have heard the name of all these acids. And organic acids are like acetic acid, uh, um, formic acid, something like that, right? So mineral acids, laboratory acids and acid which is derived from one or more inorganic elements. Inorganic elements when carbon is not present in the compound then inorganic elements like chlorine, sulfur, nitrogen, phosphorus, these are inorganic acids, right? When carbon is not there in the compound, it is known to be inorganic compound, right? So all these are inorganic elements. Hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, these are the examples of mineral acids and they are used in laboratory, right? If you uh, had uh, visited chemical chemistry lab of in your schools, you might have uh, learned about all these uh, acids like hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, uh, concentrated and uh, diluted acids, right? So when uh, we talk about uh, mineral acids or when we talk about uh, inorganic acids, we are talking about these sort of acids, okay? And uh, they are really very dangerous, you can say. Mineral acids like nitric acid and sulfuric acid, they can even destroy human tissues, right? If by mistake, if it splits on your skin, uh, it will be burnt. They can even destroy papers and clothes as well. If by mistake, if it... Uh, or I can say a drop if uh, it uh, falls on your cloth or on your shirt, on your, on your uh, maybe hanky, it will be burnt, okay? It will have holes in that. Similarly, we have organic acids. Acids which occur naturally in animal and plant materials are called organic acids. Organic acids, that means uh, these acids must have carbons, right? Organic, that means carbon. Inorganic, no carbon, okay. And these are very common acids we come across in our day-to-day -day life, that is citric acid. It is available, it is present in oranges, lemons, formic acid, 
it is presented in bees acetic acid vinegar you uh, if you eat any chinese dish you have vinegar in that right so that vinegar is actually acetic acid similarly malic acid tartaric acid that is available that is present in tamarind right imli we call right so in imli and tamarind we can say tartaric acid is there similarly we have oxalic acid in spinach that is palak and cabbage that is patta gobi lactic acid that is available in curd and milk right and uh, ascorbic acid that is available in citrus fruits amla and all that right so you must be knowing the name of the acids and some of some examples of their sources in competitive exam sometimes you may be asked which acid is present in imli or which acid is present in maybe apple or vinegar right so these are very common examples which are having these organic acids right so just pause the session go through all the acids and their sources right and try to learn them and try to remember them uh similarly uh, we have basic substances basic substances are those uh, which contain bases um uh, some examples of bases are sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide calcium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide right so, and uh, bases they occur in plant and animal products like corn starch fresh egg white and uh, something like that and they have strong irritating odor and should be used with caution as they can harm the skin and eyes uh we use baking soda baking powder to bake the dishes to bake the cakes and pastries so that baking soda baking powder these are actually basics some common examples i have taken over here ammonium hydroxide that is actually present in window cleaner calcium hydroxide that is known to be lime water magnesium hydroxide antacid right when uh, uh, anyone faces uh, any sort of acidity then antacid uh, is uh, suggested to take because acid and uh, this uh, antacid is basically a basic right so neutralization reaction takes place and the person gets relief from acidity right so as an antacid magnesium hydroxide is used similarly sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide they are used in soaps caustic soda uh, you might have heard about caustic soda that is uh, sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide now let's talk about indicators indicators are special type of substances that indicate whether a substance is acidic or basic right if you wish to distinguish between acid and basic you can use indicator suppose in a dish or in two dishes in one dish acid is there and in other uh, some uh, basic is there so how would you distinguish well, how would you find that which one is acid and which one is basic so for that we can use indicators right indicators change their color when added to an acidic or basic solution right uh, we have some natural indicators over here that is turmeric litmus china rose petals these are some natural occurring indicators a, a very important uh, indicator is litmus and a question on this particular point is frequently asked right very commonly asked a blue litmus strip when dipped in acidic solution it acquires red color and a red litmus acquire acquires a blue color when dipped in a basic solution right so blue litmus if you have blue litmus paper it will be converted to red if it is dipped into acidic solution right and if you have red litmus paper if you dip it in a blue color um, if it uh, if you dip it into into a basic solution it will be converted to blue color right so acid so the acid it converts blue to red uh, the litmus paper is converted to blue from blue to red and base red to this is acidic and this is basic okay so if you have litmus paper with you litmus strip with you if you dip that litmus litmus spirit, uh, spirit um, litmus strip blue litmus uh, strip into acid it will be turned to red and so you will come to know that it is acid and similarly you can check uh, which one is basic 
Now the third type of substances, these are neutral substances, right? They do not have any effect on color, on the color of the indicators. These are neither acidic nor basic. So we call them as neutral substances, right? Um, here I have given some examples that is sodium chloride, sugar, various other substances are there which are neither acidic nor basic. Um, we can call them as salts also. Right? They are produced by chemical reaction of acid and bases. So when acid and bases they react with each other, it is known to be a neutralization reaction and salts are produced. Right? So for example, sodium chloride, if sodium hydroxide is reacting with uh, hydrochloric acid, right? So this is known to be the neutralization reaction. It is hydroxide basic, it is HCl, sodium hydroxide, it is uh, basic and it is hydrochloric acid, that is acid. So you will be getting water plus salt. Okay, so it will be neither acidic nor basic. Um, uh, friends, acids or bases can be either strong or weak and in order to measure the strength of acids and bases, universal indicator is used, right? It is uh, strength of acids and bases is given by pH scale and that's a really important pH scale, okay? So pH scales, uh, here pH scales uh, we can um, uh, see over here, it ranges from 1 to 14, from 1 to 14 right at this point it is neutral okay this side acid and this side alkali that is basics and uh, acidity is increased this way and basicity is increased this way that means one is considered to be uh, strongly acidic and 14 is considered to be strongly basic right and this is uh, you can say 7 is neutral Some examples also I have taken over here, pure water, it is neutral, a drain cleaner, it is highly basic, battery acid, it is highly acidic, right? So, when you go this way, acidity is increased. So, you can say hydrochloric acid is less acidic than battery acid, right? Or in this side, uh, soapy water is less basic than drain cleaner. Okay, so these are very common examples, say acid rain, if we talk about the acidity or the pH scale, uh, it is 5, right? pH value is 5. Now, a universal indicator is a mixture of indicators chosen in such a way that it gives a different color for different pH values. And uh, the indicator can be used as a liquid or can be soaked into the paper and this is actually pH paper. Okay, so when a pH paper is dipped in an acid or a base, the color obtained can be matched with the chart provided with pH paper, right? So if you get red color, it will be strong acid, it will be getting these sort of colors like yellow, then they are weak acids. And if you get black color, that means it is strong, alkali, if you are getting purple or gray or light blue shade, then there are, they are uh, less basics, okay? So this thing should be, uh, these things should be clear in your mind. Salt. We have already discussed a compound formed in the reaction between acid and a base is called a salt, right? We have taken example of uh, sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. By the reaction of these two, we get a salt like sodium chloride. Similarly, if you have NaOH plus uh, maybe uh, H2SO4, that is sulfuric acid, you will be getting water plus sodium sulfate. Na2SO4, right? So this is a salt. Similarly, with the re by the reaction of uh, maybe uh, aluminum hydroxide and nitric acid, that is HNO3, you will be getting aluminum nitrate. Similarly, with ammonium hydroxide and uh, carbonic acid, carbonic acid, that is H2CO3, but weak acid. So with the reaction of ammonium hydroxide and carbonic acid, will be getting ammonium carbonate. So all these are examples of salts right and salts are formed uh, in the reaction between an acid and a base okay these are common salts over here 
and the questions based on these solves can be asked sometimes their formula is also asked sometimes uh, suppose for this example like uh, which um, uh, maybe base is there in marble limestone or chalk right uh, which salt i'm sorry so that is calcium carbonate right calcium carbonate is present in marble limestone or we can say chalk calcium carbonate uh, it is the parent acid is carbonic acid and parent base is calcium hydroxide right so by the reaction of calcium hydroxide and carbonic acid we get calcium carbonate right so that is a salt that is there in marble limestone and chalk okay and uh, what how do we use that that is uh, marble is used in flooring and i don't have to explain the uses of marble and all that that you must be knowing okay and uh, similarly next we have sodium carbonate that is washing soda right that is produced uh, with uh, uh, in the reaction of carbonic acid and sodium hydroxide right and that is a formula na2co3 dot 10h2o that is actually washing soda so you may be asked the formula for sodium carbonate or maybe washing soda right so it is a cleaning agent water softening and uh, used in water softening and manufacturing of glass similarly we have sodium bicarbonate that is baking soda that is used in uh, baking cakes and pastries and biscuits and all that the formula is nhco3 really important it is produced uh, when carbonic acid reacts with sodium hydroxide okay similarly we have some more examples so you must be knowing all these sodium uh, silver nitrate that is uh, AgNO3 it is produced when nitric acid reacts with silver hydroxide nitric acid silver hydroxide silver hydroxide it is AgOH okay ammonium nitrate NH4NO3 it is produced when nitric acid reacts with ammonium hydroxide similarly we have potash alb, uh, alum that is fit curry in our day to day life we use this term fit curry that is used Uh, in purification of water right if you put up a small um, amount of fit curry in a pot of water then gradually the dust particles or impurities will settle down and from the top you can uh, collect the pure water right so this is fit curry that is potash alum that is uh, the formula is this so just learn it and it is produced when sulfuric acid reacts with potassium hydroxide and aluminum hydroxide and sodium chloride that is the common salt that we use um, in our day to day life that is namak we can say okay so that is used in indian cooking almost in every or i can say most of the dishes salty dishes we can say so it is produced when sodium hydroxide reacts with hydrochloric acid okay the reaction i have already told you so all these salts you must be knowing all of them are important right sometimes formula are asked or sometimes um their uses are asked okay 